Hello and welcome to Let's Learn Computing. Today's tutorial is about how to create a sailing game with Scratch. To prepare for this lesson, you'll need to make sure that Scratch is installed on your school network and that you've talked to your IT department for how the children could save their work and retrieve it. Alternatively, you can use the online editor, which is on the Scratch website. This is a Scratch website, and to get started, the children can click Create to go to the editing page. So the idea is that there will be a boat, a sailing boat, and the children will be able to use the keyboard on this to control where the boat goes. So first time you open up Scratch, you get lots of commands in the middle here, and you get a cat, and this is where you drag the blocks and together to make the program. So the first thing we want to do is to the, have a look at a, a video. So the children might want to get more of an idea about what you mean. So it's a quick sailing video. You can see that uh, the man here is steering the sailing boat. Sometimes when the wind's not very strong, it doesn't make a trail, and sometimes it does. And so we're going to have the option of a challenge activity to make a little trail as well at the end of our sailing boat. Okay, so we go back to Scratch. In Scratch, the characters are called sprites. So we don't want a cat. We want to right-click on the cat and we want to delete it and then go to choose a sprite from the library. So we're going to go to transportation and we're going to select the sailboat today. All right, so now there's a combination of um, two different blocks to get the boat to move. So we need to go to the events menu first, and we go to when space key is pressed. So I'm going to drag it out here, and then then I go to motion, and this will go to move. Now the blocks need to be connected to it for it to work. And then when I press the space key on the keyboard, the boat moves. Now the next event I want is to be able to steer the boat. So we need to click on the little black triangle here and then we're going to go to the up arrow and drag that out. When the up arrow is pressed, motion, we want to point in the direction. Now we need to click on the little black triangle here and select up first. Zero is the degrees of course. Um, and back to events. When the down arrow is pressed. We're going to go to motion, point in direction, down. And back to events. You guessed it, when the left arrow is pressed, the left arrow is pressed, motion, point in direction. Be sure to click on the little black triangle, left. And finally, when the right arrow is pressed, go back to motion, point in direction, right. The boat should go in different directions. There we go. Down, this way, and this way. Okay, so next, that's uh, it with the easier activities. So we've looked at how to change the character. We looked at the events menu, we looked at the motion menu. Now we can have a look at the background and how to change that. And it's in Scratch, the background is called the stage. So we go back to Scratch here and you can see the stage and city with water, number two. So I select that and press OK. And that will load up the sailing boat in the water and it will start to look much better. So I'm pressing the space bar. Like that <laughs> looks a bit funny and it turns upside down um, and we can also right click on this that ground here the stage and delete that one now there's a the button for the trail in the water and to do that we can use the pen up and down tool so you have to make sure you click on the sailboat to get back up the, the instructions for that and make sure you click on scripts so you're not confused with the costumes or the sounds menu. Okay, so now to do the the trail, we need to go to events, and you need to think of a, a sensible key 
for the the pen up and down. So I'll just choose um, U. U for up. So when the U key press, now go down to pen, pen up. And of course, a sensible key for down, the pen to be down, is D. Pen down. All right. I'm going to press D, and then you can see there's a little blue trail. And to clear, we can make a button as well to make sure we can clear all our, our mess that we've drawn away. So when the, you could discuss with the children what's a sensible button for that. C seems like a sensible one. And now when I press the C key, it's all cleared away. If you want to extend it, if you feel that lesson's too easy, you can change the color effect and we can add different backgrounds and change them with a different key. So to do that, uh, we go to, um, let's see, when the spacebar key is pressed, or any of these really, if you want to change the color effect when you press the up arrow, down, left or right, or another one of these, uh, we can go to the looks menu. It's in here, looks. And you can go to change color effect. So this one. So every time I press spacebar, the boat will change a different color. All right, and then finally, you can go to stage, and you can choose another one, and then all of a sudden we can be changing the background like that. All right, so after that we can go to scripts and events. When you press the, uh, let's see, B for background, we can go to looks, next backdrop. Okay, so this is programming the background. And we go back to here and put it all together. So the space bar, changing the color and making a trail. And I'm going to press the B button to put the background back. Thank you for listening and goodbye.